<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all how you can install Fortuna or the Fortuna project for the PlayStation 2 on any PS2 Slim. Now, this is a great alternative to free McBoot. It doesn't give you the nice fancy menu or anything that you get on boot with free McBoot. However, this does work on all revisions of the PS2 Slim, including the 90,000 series model, which has free McBoot patched on there. So there's a few things with this. If you have a Slim, congratulations, you were able to follow along with this tutorial just fine. You are of the intended audience. If you have a fat PlayStation 2 system, Project Fortuna can be ported over to that in theory, but it hasn't been ported yet. And it's been out for a bit, so right now this is just going to be for Slim systems. However, if there is a revision later down the road, which does support fat consoles, this tutorial should still work just fine just using those updated files, but using the same steps in here. Either way, this is fully working right now on all slim systems, and this will be super easy to install thanks to free DVD boot. So there's going to be a few things we'll need. Of course, we're going to need our PS2 Slim. We're also going to need a blank DVD to burn off free DVD boot. We're going to need a USB drive to transfer over a few files. We'll need a computer to download and transfer those files, and we're also going to need, of course, our memory card. Now, on the topic of the memory card, thankfully, from what I've seen, it seems like Fortuna actually works on more memory cards than Free McBoot does. So I've seen people have success with this on clone memory cards. However, I will say this, I would always recommend using an official Sony 8 megabyte memory card with Magic Gate. A good alternative is a third party memory card as long as it has Magic Gate on there, but I really recommend staying away from those other cards, those cloned cards, the ones that are cheaper and not really Magic Gate compatible. However, if you want to use one of those, do so at your own risk. First of all, on the PlayStation 2 Slim, again, this is for Slim systems, I'm going to stress this, this that is the intended audience here. You're going to want to fire up your PlayStation 2 Slim, and at this menu, press the triangle button, and you need to come down to DVD player and get your DVD player version number. That's going to be the important part. Mine is 3.11U. You might have a different letter on yours, but that is completely fine. It doesn't matter. You just need to get that version number. Now that you have the version number of your PlayStation 2 Slim, back out of here, and we can now go over to the PC and get everything set up. Over at your PC, go ahead and click the links down below in the description for everything that I am going to be showing here if you need it. But the first thing we will need is of course free DVD boot. This is going to allow us to super easily install Fortuna on our memory card thanks to this being so easy to set up and use. You just need to burn off a DVD and you're going to need to, of course, have a working DVD drive on your PS2. But regardless on here, you can go to the GitHub link for free DVD boot, and then you can click either up here on the repository for pre-built ISOs, or click right here on the pre-built ISOs link. And once you come right here, you need to find the ISO for your specific version. So mine is 3.11, and this is going to be on your specific PS2. So now that I know I have 3.11 for my DVD player, I'm going to choose that ISO. So I'm just going to click on this here, and then click on download, and download that ISO wherever you can easily find it. To burn off the ISO, at least on Windows, I prefer to use Image Burn. So you can simply click Download Now, download the EXE, and install the application on your computer. Now for Fortuna Project, because we do need to download the files for this, the link for this of course will be down below with everything else, and there is a great write-up on here. But in short, you just need to click on the Fortuna Rev2 Zip, or whichever the latest revision is, 
and download that somewhere you can easily find it. As mentioned here, for anybody who's using a FAT system, this work and project will be added later when it's completed. Do not ask when, it will be out when it's ready. So again, the idea is for this to work on FAT systems just at the current moment in time. This is not working on FAT systems, but that could certainly change. Just keep up to date on this. And for the last thing, I'm going to show you all how to set up an application in the form of OPL. So for this right here, we can just go to the link for the OPL daily builds. And for this method, I would recommend, we're really not going to be using the memory card as storage. I really don't recommend doing that for this modification here for Fortuna. We're going to be running our homebrew off of a USB drive. So do this with the intention of keeping a USB drive in your PS2. But with this, you can come to the OPL daily builds and come down to the latest daily build, pick whichever you are wanting here, which for this, since we're using a USB drive, I would recommend using the uncompressed version. So click on this for the latest build, and it's gonna have a lot more information right here, but you're just going to want to download whichever version you're wanting here. The compressed version, again, that's more designed for memory cards, but since we're not going to be using a memory card, I would recommend using the uncompressed version for this. Just click on whichever zip you want, download it somewhere you can easily find it. All right, so first of all, let's set up our USB drive. So we're going to need a USB drive with FAT32 set up on here as the file system. So you can check that at least on Windows by right-clicking your USB drive, go to Properties, and the file system, as you can see from mine, is FAT32. If yours is not, make sure you back up anything you care about off of this USB drive, because we are going to format it, which will remove everything. So for this, we can just exit out of here, right click, format the USB drive, and everything is fine here, just FAT32. You can use default allocation size, quick format, start, okay. And after a few seconds, it should be successfully formatted, just fine. Now, what if you're using a USB drive which is too big and it does not have FAT or FAT32 available? You just have NTFS or XFAT. Well, there's another way around that. There's multiple ways to format this to FAT32. I'm going to show you the method I use. For this, I prefer to use GUI format or FAT32 format. Again, link for this will be down below in the description. You can simply click on the image right here and download the EXE wherever you can easily find it. Once you have your EXE available, close out of any file explorer windows such as this, but take note of the drive letter. So mine is drive letter H exit out of here. Now double click GUI format, say yes when it prompts for admin access, and right here you need to select your USB drive, mine is H, allocation size is fine, quick format is fine, you want to start, OK, and now it should be formatted. So now with that I can check this yet again, and as you can see it is a FAT32 file system, which is exactly what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and get the files we need copied over here. First of all, for the Fortuna zip file, you want to just right click and extract it right here. It should give you a Fortuna folder, which looks a little bit something like this. That's all there is to it. For this, you go into your USB drive and simply copy and paste the Fortuna folder. That's it. Now, next up, we need to extract OPL. So grab your uncompressed OPL, right click, and extract it here. When you have the folder available, double click this, and you're going to want to find the opl.elf file or whichever the elf file is. And if you cannot see the file name extensions on Windows, you can click on view and tick file name extensions. But regardless, you want to copy this elf file and paste it into the root of your USB drive. So once that's copied over, that's all this should look like. You should have your Fortuna folder, and you should have whichever applications you want to run on here. Now with that being done, we can come out here, right click, eject this. Now for the ISO that we've downloaded, the free DVD boot ISO, again I'm going to recommend burning this using Image Burn. So take your blank DVD, it has to be a blank single layer DVD, not a dual layer DVD, not a CD, it has to be a blank DVD. Pop your blank DVD into your burner, open up Image Burn, go to Write Image File to Disk, and then from here you can click on this folder icon, 
and select the ISO. Now that this is all loaded up, you're going to want to look at your supported write speeds for your burner and disk, and you're going to want to burn this at the slowest speed possible. I'm going to be burning this at 6x, not really because I already have a disk here, but that's what I would and have burned it at before. Once you have that all configured, your ISO is there, your write speed is set, you're going to want to click on this button and just wait a few minutes for this to finish burning. Now you should have your DVD burned and your USB drive set up. You want to take your memory card, your USB drive, and your DVD and pop them all into your PS2. And we're going to continue from there. Alright, so back over at the PS2, make sure you have your memory card plugged in, your USB drive plugged in, and now we need to run free DVD boot. So for this, you can take your DVD, pop it into your PS2, and just have it run on boot, but I'm going to show you this manually here. So I just popped the DVD in. If we come over to the browser here, you can see my memory card is hooked up, and the DVD is reading as a DVD video. So simply boot this up, and it should look a little something like this. So now once this comes up, congratulations, you have successfully booted up Homebrew on your PlayStation 2, maybe for the first time. Now let's go ahead and get this installed. So you can press the circle button to open up the file browser, navigate down to mass and press the circle button, and here, this is the only folder we need. So you're going to want to press the R1 button when you highlight this, and press the circle button to copy. Now come up here to the two dots and slash, enter that, now come up to MC0, press circle, and highlight the two dots and the slash, press the R1 button, and press circle on paste. So it's now going to copy over and install Fortuna, so to speak. So now with all that said and done, we can just press circle here to go back, press the select button to exit. And at this point, you're going to want to remove your DVD from the console, your free DVD boot DVD, and restart the system. So now once the system restarts, it's not going to look or act any different, which is to be expected. But for this, in order to run Fortuna, you need to go into your browser, go into the memory card, and it's going to show this corrupted data right here, and these are just going to be invisible, so to speak. But once that comes up, press the circle button, circle yet again, and as you can see, you launch elf came up. So that is how Fortuna works, and it just by default launches you launch elf. That's what it's supposed to do. So now, as an example, how you want to launch any of your homebrew. This is why we still need that USB drive, because that's where you're going to put any of your homebrew or any of your applications. You're going to want to press circle for file browser, come down to mass, and then you can open up OPL or whatever application you're going to be using. So as you can see, mine doesn't have any configuration on it, but this is how it works. So that is loading up your first piece of homebrew. Congratulations, that's about all you need to do on here. Now just as a realistic example, I'm going to show you all from boot how this would look using Fortuna. So of course you have this set up here, you go to browser, you go to your memory card, go back, go back, and here it comes up with you launch elf so for my usb drive i actually just changed it out to another usb drive that i have pre-configured specifically with games and such for opl on here so in this example i'd go to mass i have this all set up open up opl And this is going to take longer because I have pre-configured it. Of course, there's games on here and such from a tutorial that I had made on this. But as you can see right here, these are all games that I have loaded on my USB drive. So if I want to, for example, let's for this... You know what? I did Dirge of Cerberus for the last tutorial over free McBoot. Uh, let's do Tekken Tag Tournament. Why not? So you can select your game. Go ahead, fire it up here and just wait a few seconds for it to load up. So now the game has loaded up, at least it's showing the main FMV right here, 
But as you can see, this is a realistic usage of this. You just fire up your Fortuna exploit, which of course just brings you into you launch elf. You can then launch your homebrew to do whatever you want to. In my case, it was OPL to load up a game, and I am currently right now running Tekken Tag Tournament from a USB drive on my PS2 Slim. That's about all you need to do for this, it's as easy as that, thankfully. So I just exited out of the game, but you all saw that it worked just fine. Now if you're wanting a specific tutorial on OPL right here, I do have another tutorial here on the channel, which I will have linked in the description, breaking down and showing how to set up your PS2 games on OPL using a USB drive, because it was so requested on here, and especially for a PS2 Slim. Now I'm going to be the first person to say that USB is the worst way of loading games on the PS2, just due to it being the slowest. However, since this is for slim systems, you really don't have the option for an internal hard drive, so you can either do network or you can do it from USB, and for this I'm choosing to use USB. Again, this wasn't supposed to be a tutorial over OPL, this was just using OPL as an example, showing you all how to download an application, how to set it up, and then showing usage of it through the Fortuna exploit. But yeah, you all, that is about it for this video, so hopefully it helped you all out. Hopefully you all have some more usage of your PlayStation 2 Slim consoles, and hopefully if you really enjoyed this video, you could like it. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. Maybe you're a fat user who wanted to use Fortuna, but either way, I mean, if you have a fat system, why don't you just go with Free McBoot? That's a superior one. But not to knock Fortuna, Fortuna is an awesome alternative to Free McBoot. Anyways, that's about it for this tutorial. This is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone, and I hope you all enjoyed this.